Well, today's video was not supposed to be this, but I, uh, I decided differently. And the reason being is because I made some pretty cool changes. Now, originally this was already built in to a uh, dank material shell, but I turned it into a desktop widget, and I also turned it into a widget that can be placed down here or up on the top bar. This is dark material shell. And uh, this did start out as a fork and is no longer one. 100% of the code has been rewritten and now I'm slowly starting on the design. Because honestly, it does look the way I want, but I need things to be a little more cleaner. And honestly, I kind of started with the settings already, where before there was no padding between this and this, and it was all over the place. Things weren't exactly aligned the way they should be, but I am starting to work through all of that, thankfully. I did move every bit of the desktop widget stuff where it belongs, which is in here. And, uh, the weather one's still here, but again, this one also has weather, so I just figured, eh, why not just have one versus the other? I think this is, thing is pretty cool. Now, another thing that I did is I built another widget, which is a application launcher, not a start menu, it's an application launcher, and it looks exactly like the one, not exactly one-to-one, -one, but... Exactly like the one that is in Mac OS Tahoe, because I actually did enjoy looking at that one quite a lot. So, uh, you know, take inspiration where you can, and give it your all. Now this does work, you can click, you can open up stuff, and so on and so forth. So it's nice that this is here. And the best part is, you can move it to any side of the screen you want, or anywhere that you need to. All right, you know me. I make sure that you have as much options as possible. Another thing in themes and colors, I have added this so you can completely customize, not this, but the widget version of this, uh, because that is also important. I want to apply all these settings to the desktop widget version. I'll do that later. Uh, but I want to show you this, the ability to set your icons, your themes for GTK apps, so on and so forth. It's all here. And it's kind of cool that it does work. I have tried it. And yeah, I just expanded on what was already here. Hope for the best. Uh, what did I do for dock? I made sure that all of these were lined up. We cleaned up some stuff in here. And yeah. So let me show you um, that new widget. Where is it? I'm just going to call it. Dark Dash, that's what it's called right there. Oop, see? It's exactly like that, except it's here. So if you don't want it as a desktop widget, but you do want to end up using it, you can do so by, you know, doing this. And I had to rewrite it to be able to get it to even act as a widget on the desktop and as a widget in the dock. And again, it can also be applied uh, elsewhere like on the top bar. So if we wanted to, I could put it right up there and it would end up being right there, which is again, pretty cool. And you could put it here, 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 or here, anywhere. It used to pop out when clicking the weather or the time, but I found that pretty silly. I didn't like it at all. So doing this kind of makes a little more sense where it can be as a desktop widget or it can be as part of the dock and you know whatever you really really want and the cool part is uh we can do this if we wanted to look at that so when i say that i make things modular i do it on purpose because again you want them to be modular you want to have choices and choices matter they make things a much better place for a lot of people, you know? This has been reduced to a minimum amount of settings, and I enjoy that. Uh, something else that's new is, oh, I was very proud of it, where is it? The network thing. It's not finished yet, I still have to build out the VPN configuration and everything like that, but for now, it does work, all the options work, minus the VPN, and 
yeah, when if I had Wi-Fi plugged in, you would see Wi-Fi, but I don't have my Wi-Fi thing with me. I don't think. I don't see it anywhere. And I'm actually looking for it right now because I'm kind of interested if it would work or not with this. But yeah, uh, Wi-Fi should work. Where did I end up putting that? Did I just like chuck it in a box and throw it somewhere? I probably did, knowing me. Now, I do want to have Bluetooth in here as well. So I'm probably going to add that next. But we are getting near everything a desktop environment has. And that is what excites me the most. Oh, man. How did this break? That's annoying. I'll have to figure out how to fix this. Six devices and nothing showing. So that must be another cause of me breaking the widgets thing. Well, whatever. I'll fix that in a minute. Anyway, with that, uh, I also added the AWWW backend. So if you need to... You can enable that, have WEP support, along with the ability to handle your animations. And that's it. Uh, that's the update for this. Now, I also added something else. Uh, I'm going to go to the repositories here real quick. Oh no, there's issues open. I hate when there's issues open. Because it's most likely something I cannot fix. So you might notice there's an install packages arch, there's an install packages, will you seriously stop sketching out? And there's an install packages Pico OS. So those will install everything that is required. So if we go in here, right, uh, here's an entire list. If you want to do it manually, you don't want to use the script. And then there's how to install the A what's required for yay manual installation of uh dgop is right here you can build from sources copy paste that in you're good to go mutagen same thing here like you enable the repos so on and so forth and you're good to go and that's the really really nice part i made it so it's an all-in-one easy setup and command now i need to get back to trying to build wine 10.10 .10 from GitHub. Wish me luck on that. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. You don't forget to comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you next time.